What the f*** is wrong with you? Get in your car, dude. Get in your car! I'm in my car. That's fair. That's fair. Can you get in your car? No. Will you call the cop? Yeah. All right, welcome back to the channel, and today we will be taking a look at some Karens and some interesting moments and some wholesome moments as well. But before we get started, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. So in this first video, there were some cops that were watching over a motel that is known to have people there dealing with illegal substances. While watching, the cops noticed a sketchy vehicle that had this 45-year-old lady driving. So when they ran her plates, they saw her license was suspended, and she also had a bolo out for her. So having a suspended license and a bolo out for you is crazy to want to drive around a suspicious motel but take a look for yourself and let me know what you think car for me please jump back in your car quick trip on Otter Road Adam Robert Zebra 5292 good 10-4 you can have him start over here uh, Michelle you don't have a license how is that I just I don't it, have a license. It's suspended. For what? I haven't looked that far into it, so I don't well, know the reason. Because, I mean, I have. I look, look, you don't have a valid license. Stop arguing with me. I didn't know that. I honestly. Okay, didn't why? Know why that. are you being so argumentative? Because I just got done with work. I was just trying. Apparently, I don't have a license. I don't know. Is this your car? Informed? Yes, this is my car. Do you have insurance on it? No. Okay. What are you up to? I just got done with work literally six minutes ago. What do you do, what do, you do for work? I work at a group home. Okay. Are you coming from the group home? Yes, I work out in I was stopping to see if I could... What? Hello? I'm at Quick Trip. Yes! I didn't know I had. I didn't have a license. When did I... When was it suspended or whatever it is because I, have I can tell you that here in a minute once i go back to my I car i pulled over or anything since i got out literally i haven't had a ticket or nothing okay uh, i'll tell you that once i go look I, it doesn't tell me right away i have to look into that what are you up to literally i got done with work i was gonna stop and see what he was doing and i'm going to my friend's house i'm homeless <laughs> okay this is my home you live out of your car yeah, pretty much. Okay. I got clothes scattered all over Eau Claire between my kid's house and my friend's house. Dude, I finally, finally found a job, but if I don't have a license, I don't have a job. Okay. Just hang tight for me. I'll come back up here and chat with you, okay? <laughs> What's up? I'm going to pull her out. See if she'll uh, give us consent. If not, we'll act 79 it. Okay, sounds good. I was just looking at the report, so. Okay, I didn't know she was on paper till just now, but she just came from Gartens and she's got a no contact with Gartens, so. Yeah, that's good enough. See if she wants to be cooperative or not. All right, what is she suspended for? Is it just hers or two in there? It's just her. Just her. Yeah. I'm trying to see what she's suspended for because she's all up in arms about that. She looks kind of animated. Right? Failure to pace child support. That'll do it. Michelle, I'll have you jump out. I'll talk to you behind your car real quick. Is there anything illegal in your car that I need to know about? I don't think so. Okay, I just smoke, keep your hand out of your pocket for I me. I smoke weed. I don't know. I might have a blunt or something in the car. I don't okay. know. Okay. If you did have a blunt in your car, where would it be? In my bag. Okay. Which you got one in the front and one in the back? It'd be the one in the front. Okay. There is a blunt in there? Or? I don't I don't know if there's one in there or not. I, I don't remember if I took it out or not. Hands out of your pockets. I'm sorry. My cold. Oh, yeah, so am I. Um, so you're suspended for child support. You must have not paid a child support, so they suspended Dude, you. Dude, I haven't had a job. I literally just found a job five days ago. Okay, hands out of your pockets. Stop digging in your pockets. Would you give us consent to search your car? I can't tell you no. Okay. Well, I'm just trying to see if you want to be cooperative with us or not. I'm never not cooperative. I don't want to go to jail for f***ing weed. I have to work tomorrow. I just got this job. Okay. Alright, let's go to the front of this car. It's <laughs> been nice knowing you. I'll talk hands to out of your pockets. In lifetime, okay? So I'll just put your hands back right over. <laughs> For what? You keep putting your hands in your pockets after I've told you 16 what times not to. Freezing? I don't have a coat on like you guys do. I don't have a coat. I just got a polyester shirt. 
I just, you know, I have been more than cooperative with you guys. Seriously. Okay, this doesn't mean you're going to jail. <laughs> no, what else mean? You're just being detained, okay? You're not free to go. So at this point, the cop said that she is detained and she's not under arrest, but she might be under arrest soon because she's driving with a suspended license. On top of that, she's on probation and she had a bolo out for her and they ended up seeing her leaving the back of the motel. And that motel, they were casing because of the fact that they keep finding, you know, people dealing with illegal substances there. So that's not the best place she should be at while going through all the issues with the law that she's going through, especially with her kids since she has to pay child support obviously she has no custody of them but let's continue to watch do you have anything on you that's gonna stick no. stab poke us I have my keys a vape I think does your yeah you do have pockets okay can we get that door open or I'd rather stand outside thank well you. we're gonna sit you in the car because you're already complaining that it's cold out I don't care you're not detaining me okay. you're not listen, arresting me so I listen. will stand here you're being detained you're gonna sit in the car <laughs> That's not negotiable. <laughs> I just wanted to go grab the clothes and go to bed. I get up at 3 o'clock. <laughs> oh. I'll talk to you real quick. Okay. <laughs> so, Michelle, the. <clears throat> I appreciate that, so we'll work on getting you out of here as soon as possible, okay? <laughs> we're working the first shift yesterday. Where do you work at? Overnight, and we're just second shift. I'm just tired. Mm -hmm. Sounds like you're at least trying to <laughs> to get some stuff straight. I've been looking for a job for two years. Yeah. I've been looking for a place for two years, dude. Everything, dude. Like, <laughs> Is it just with your record that you're having difficulty <laughs> Because then? of the shit my kids made up about me. Mm -hmm. Nobody will even rent me a storage unit. My life sucks. So uh, I have to talk to you about an incident that happened on the street on the third or at your daughter's place. You remember that? Yeah, I was whipping a Yui trying to leave because I was about to like snap out on her friend and I hit a garbage can. Well, I'm gonna go help that officer so that we can get out of here and you can get out of here sooner, okay? You're Michelle? not gonna so let me go. There's probably weed in the car. I smoke weed. My PO knows I smoke okay. weed. Well, <laughs> According to that everything bridge. else that I've ever done, dude. Like, <laughs> sure. I went through the driver's side, oh. but that's that's it. And the center council. What's up? Not being here this before. No, you can hang out over there. That's all I'm asking. Yeah, you, yeah, as long as you just hang out over there, that's cool. Okay, thank you. You can go in the store if you want to stay warm, too. All right. And you went through this up here? Yep, I went through that. That was, I'm assuming, the clothes that she picked up. Okay. They smell like weed, but there's nothing in it, so. I'm going to write her her citations right now, then. I'm going to call a probation. Can you tell them I have to work in the morning? Tell who? Hey, this is Deputy Tennold from Eau Claire County Sheriff's Office. Doing well. I am uh, in contact with a subject who is on supervision. Yes. Just one possession of THC. Yes. Can you please tell me I have to work in the morning and I just got this job, please. I didn't even know I didn't have a license. Will you please tell them this stuff? I wouldn't be driving if I didn't know I had a license. Um, the address is, uh, she does not have a valid driver's license. I didn't even know that. And then, do you have her rules available? there by you? Yeah, mostly number four. Yeah, that's that's the one that's uh, the issue that she just came from. I was driving through. Awesome. Thank you. You too. So probation is going to put a hold on you. 536 County. I'm 1095 with Michelle. <laughs> County of 536. Don't do that. <laughs> Good. Ten for it. My hands are numb. I can't sit on them anymore. Mm, I can't do this. I only have a fing weed. I'm going to lose my fing job. <laughs> Somehow she slipped her cuffs off. So she doesn't have cuffs on right now, and she's not. 
doing that, so I want to get her cuffed up quick. So I found it a little weird how she blamed the kids for her being on probation because she claims they lied on her. I'd rather put my money on the kids telling the truth over her, especially when you see how she is about to act. I also found it crazy that she said her probation officer knows she smokes. I'm pretty sure that's a violation of your probation. She also managed to slip the cuffs off, so I'm wondering if that would be considered evading arrest. If you know the answer to that, let me know in the comment section, but let's continue to watch. Um, yeah, she's probably gonna be fun, so. All right, Michelle, jump out. I would rather just sit here. Jump, Michelle, get out of the car. Make me! You really want to go that route? Well, you guys are some f***ing dumb ass motherfuckers. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Michelle, stop. Put your hand behind your back. Let me go! You want to just go to the ground? Let go! Let's back up here. No. Put your hands behind your back. Stop. <laughs> I didn't want to go to bed. <laughs> I wanted to go to bed. <laughs> I wanted to go to bed. Stop. I'm so tired of being stuck. I will break my wrist, I promise you. Well, that's not a good idea. What purpose is that going to serve, Michelle? They purpose me blowing my brains out, they'll do too. They promise you I lose my job, dude, I'm gonna fucking jump off yeah, the first finger, bridge as soon as I fucking walk out of there. There's <laughs> nothing better to do with your time, huh? You're nothing better to do, huh? You pieces of shit. You wanna just hand me the seatbelt? Go fuck yourself, I don't need a goddamn seatbelt. Let, no! Ah! Very well. We're good, I got, got it. it. <laughs> I can't breathe, I can't breathe! Wanna just go to the jail? Yeah, I think that's probably gonna be the best case scenario. She wants you to have her keys. So I'm gonna give those with you, and then this was also on her. I'll just leave that here with you, okay? Her car doesn't have insurance, so it can't be on the road, but just to avoid I'll any stay, more of this. I'll stay right across the street. Ah, I can't feel my fingers! Tell you what, get it back there. I'm not gonna look, okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Give us like two minutes, so at yes, least we're yes, not sir. around, okay? Yes, okay? All right, thank you. I'll follow you down. Yeah, I appreciate that. Oh, I can't feel my fingers. You have them on two sides. I'm seriously, they're fucking. Oh, seriously, I'll be Five thirty-six, Cody. They hurt. Oh my god, I can't feel my. Oh my god. Oh, it hurts so bad. Oh, yow, 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 yow. Oh. I'll be in route to the jail. You have my phone. I can't. Hey, it's Barrett the City. I don't know if Tunnel called ahead, but we're in route. We'll be about five minutes out with an uncooperative female. So she got charged with resisting arrest and possession of THC, but let's move on to the next video where it takes place in Florida. So you know this will be an interesting video. There was a group of people that were violating the rules at a bar, so the staff at the bar decided to call the cops. Now the bar is in front of a pool, so for now we can assume that the behavior that prompted the police to be called has something to do with them being intoxicating and showing poor behavior. But take a look for yourself and let me know what you think. So which one are you? Uh which one? No, this is the third turn. Yeah. Because the one with the mustache. Yeah. Yep. Because when he did, I saw some corn he was lifting going like this. Because when Kobe was lifting, he was popping people in the air. He was just in there. And I saw that. Yeah. 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 Hey, so let's uh, give what the uh, whoever uh, is serving that guy that makes sure that he pays for that way. Oh, shit. Hey, buddy, I'm Officer Lopez. Do you have a tab here? No, I don't. Uh, okay. 
Alright, so they already talked to you about this, so all you have to do is just leave, don't come back. If you I'm, come back, you can be arrested. Yeah, right. no, I'm not coming back, but I was not in there. Whatever, it's fine. Okay. Uh, did we get somebody? If you I already told her, I don't know where she went. Okay. But she's over there. Just to make sure, you know, because if somebody starts, they all start leaving, then you know, somebody got to. Bumpy shoulders. Yeah. That's it? That's it? That's Three times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three times. It's a liability. Um, whoever, whoever's the tab, whoever's under the tab, who's under the tab, whoever knew it is, it's got to be paid. So you pay your tab. So just one person is the, the one that we have to get out. Um, yeah, but it, it, it look, they're all leaving. Okay. Yeah, yeah. They're all getting... They're all what? Yeah. Hello, my name. Uh, that's fine. I'll, um, after we get these people out of here, I'll, I'll come over there. Um, so somebody's working on the tab, right? Yeah. Put that to the other Do you have this table? No, they're gone. I just gave her the tab. Okay. To get ready, and if you're not done, I'm taking you to jail for trespassing. So you have two minutes. That's okay, I don't ridiculous. care either. That's ridiculous. Funny. Oh, you can't take time hack. Let's go. <laughs> two minutes. <laughs> time hack. I love it. I love the time hack. It's so cute. <laughs> You guys know that we don't actually, we have been here for fun, no. right? Like, no, no, no. I'm gonna say this, this, I'm gonna say this real quick. Just, just stop talking. Like, that, I'm finished with nice way off here. I know, I know. Just talking is It's the worst. It's just a little Seven, eight, one. So at this point, the girl with the turquoise top seemed like the only reasonable one in the very beginning until she kept talking and started making comments about how smart she is. And if they are dumb, that if the business doesn't like money, I doubt the money they spent there could even cover a fraction of the supply stocking. And the cops are actually giving them a chance to leave, but the entitled girl with the blue bathing suit seems to be begging to go to jail by challenging the officer by saying they can't take her to jail. But we shall see. So let's continue to watch. Don't listen to Ralphie, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. We, we do. No, we, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We, we do. My best friend is the police, okay? We're all military. Okay? Like, we love, we respect, we love, okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, 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 I think that you 
don't owe me anything. So all I ask is to be a decent human being. I right know. But I think I have been very polite and Well, that's why we're kind of like, oh, we were doing like little... Um, and leave, but you wouldn't, all right? You said that you didn't care getting arrested, so here we are. What I? I didn't do anything, sir. I didn't do anything. Oh, Up against the car. Up against the car. Place your feet apart. Seventy, come on, can I have uh, another unit? I've done this before, sir. I swear. I'm... I didn't do anything. I'm... Don't move. I'm not a prisoner. Don't move. I'm not the person you want to arrest, sir. Why is that? Because one wrong slang that I fucking said. One wrong word. One wrong word. That's what I fucking said. There's a problem when another person oh is... Lord hold on! Lord. Stop Stop talking. When there's another guy trying to help you, he's trying to take you away out of the problem. And now you are telling him to step away, which that's why I, I stepped in. Okay? So now you Please. are about to start a fight with another guy because he's trying to help you. Okay? And I gave you instructions to put your hands behind your back. He said no. It, we are beyond that line right now. We are. I give you a chance. Sorry. Do you have anything on you? Do you have anything on you? Anything sharp? Anything illegal that I should know? You don't? Please. Please don't. Step back. Understood. Do you have any property here not. that I need to that I need to grab? I can't do anything. I'm asking you a question. Is there any property that I need to collect for you in the property? What do you have? Nothing. Nothing. Okay. I'll go home. All right. Let's go this way. Please. Right here. Up against the car. Up against the car. Get in. Look at me, please. Get in. Watch your head. Now, put your legs inside. Put your legs inside. I don't deserve to be here, dude. her property, phone, wallet for her to take to the jail. Now we got into a point where all the tough talk went out the window as soon as she realized that she can actually get arrested. Now she is crying and begging to be let go. Her energy completely changed and the friend or boyfriend was really trying to help her by literally removing her from the situation by carrying her like a damsel in distress and she still tried to be argumentative. But let's just keep watching to see what happens next. Drunk and she's an idiot and she shouldn't have done that. I was closing out our tap. I should have grabbed her and brought her out. 
I failed her. Listen, I, I think you did the right thing trying to help, but then it was becoming either letting her fight you please, or please, please. Yes. Or do not this. doing please. anything. Okay, please. No. If we can so, help any, I, please, I tried to please. Do you please. have her wallet or, or phone? We're, 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 we're working on that. Okay. Sir, is there any way... You There's can nothing push? you can do for her. Do you have your ID with you? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I need I need your ID. Mine? Yes. Can I ask why? Because she is getting arrested for trespassing. I had to intervene because she was about to get into a fight with you. Because, again, you did nothing wrong. You were trying to help her. You did the right thing. You are involved in this crime. So I need your identification so I can document that you were there. Obviously, that's going to be on camera, but I need it for my report. Sir, I love that woman. Is there any way we can just let her go to me and she will be out of here? And I did never my come best. Back? I did. I did. You did too, but here we are now, so I need your ID. Are you injured? Does it matter? I'm Does asking you. Are you injured? It doesn't matter. Mentally, yes. Physically, are you Physical. injured? It doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay. So I have one 1015. Um, the bouncers, they were. What the they, is this shit? They were. Which cars? Is there anything that you want her to take? If I no. get on my knees and beg, will it help anything? No, sir. I didn't serve this stupid shit, dude. I have no clue what happened. I don't know either. Apparently, okay. apparently, I yelled at some guy and I got arrested. What's your step? I love you so much. I did nothing. I have no shoes. Can you give me shoes? I'll get, I'll get them. I had shoes. shoes. Right right I there. had shoes. They're right there. Fucking. Okay. Okay. Sir, is can I chuck myself with these? Give me one second. Let me put them back there. I did nothing, sir. I yelled at a guy. That's all I did. I'm so sorry that I yelled at a guy. I'm so sorry. I'll go talk to your boyfriend, but at this point, I don't, think, so I don't think there's much I can do. I'll... I'm so sorry, sir. I'm sorry. Yeah, like I told her, I have no clue what happened. Like, that officer is the one doing the arrest. I don't know if they're pressing charges or he's pressing charges. You're going to have to talk to the establishment or that officer right there. I'm just doing the transport. That's all I'm doing. Understood. So okay. if they're not pressing charges. I, I, I don't know what the charges are. So you have to talk to that officer. That he's the arresting officer, not me. Okay. Okay. In the process, I don't understand how this goes, so they're not pressing charges. 
as the staff has said. So what, I don't know the next steps forward for how I, she's in jail, right? I found it interesting when she says she is the sweetest soul, but we didn't see an ounce of sweetness before the cuffs were put on her. I never had a girlfriend arrested before, but I can imagine the boyfriend feeling bad and trying everything he can to get his girlfriend out of this situation. But his girlfriend is the one that put herself in this situation. So when he said that he failed her, I have to disagree because she really failed herself. But let's watch how all of this ends. Listen, I told whoever she is to you. I told her she had two minutes to get her stuff and leave. Out of all the people that were doing the same thing, she was getting very confrontational with them. I'm like, two minutes, fair enough for her to get her stuff and go. Two minutes went by. I don't know what happened to you because I remember you being, hold on, let me finish, please. You went somewhere, I don't know. You came back after the two minutes were up. Okay, so now you picked her up, trying to take her away from the issue, the right thing. Cool, I was, you know what, I'm like, okay, this might work out. But then, when you were closed by the gate, now she is, she's about to get physical with you. She told you, leave, let me go. Now, you either go to jail for battery, or kidnapping because you are holding somebody against her or his wheel, right? So, or, or what? I just stand there and not do anything? Is either she go, I mean, at that point she was going to jail for trespassing. But now I have this in front of me, you grabbing her, trying to help. You can possibly go to jail for that. If somebody tells you, let me go, you let them go. I know that you are trying to do the right thing, but I'm doing the best I can to help you too. This is not something that I wanted to do to begin with. I was just standing there, watching them do their thing, letting people know, okay, you gotta go. Whoever, she was not even the person that they had the issue to begin with. The guy left peacefully, very nice guy. And then your friend, girlfriend came around and this happened. This is out of my hands. Understood. My, my tab was at the other bar when they said that they were leaving. I went to the other bar to close out. When I came back, I was unaware that a two-minute timer had been placed. So just for my own knowledge, if I had gotten her past the gate, would it have been off the property and okay? Yes, but at that point, I have a battery. Because you are holding so badly against her will. Yeah. Sorry, wait. Yeah. 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 Well, that's a shitty situation I put you in, and I'm sorry for that. That's why I tried to get you as quick as I could, because I saw you, y'all had to, like, something. I was like, bro, just get her out of here as, as best I'm, as possible. So I failed her if I just gotten her past that that's gate. That's why I was like, hey, just get her out of here. I'm telling you, you had to get her past that gate without her fighting. It yeah. hadn't been willing, and it wasn't willing at all. That's why he had to step in. And then it just went sideways. That's when it's out of our hands, you know, Bubba? Yeah. Do you need anything else? Um, how do, how do I get her out of jail. She's going to spend bond. the night in jail and she's going to make a phone call at some point like in two hours. Uh, she will see a judge in the morning tomorrow and then the judge will give her a bond. She can pay the bond herself or Can I whoever. pay for her? You can. Okay. How do I communicate with the judge to say that I'll do that? She'll be able to make a phone call. I don't know if she has my number memorized. It's all contacts these days. So. She, I'm sure she will call somebody and that person maybe will call you if she knows a, a phone number by heart. I don't know. That's why I was asking if you had anything for her to, to tell you about. Can I it's, give you her phone so she can call me? It's too late. She's gone. Can I go to the jail and drop this off? Mm -hmm. Okay. It's like, I'm in the Navy. I have to report into duty on Tuesday, so we were going to leave tomorrow in order to make it back. gonna have to figure this out on her own. I gotta get back to my report. Understood. Thank you, sir. So she was charged with resisting arrest and trespassing since she didn't leave when she was told. But that's about it for today. So if you enjoyed any of those videos, let me know down in the comment section which one is your favorite one. Also share it with your friends.